we're going to be taking a look at PathAuto, which enables us to have pattern for the URL generation of our entities, mainly for the nodes. We're going to take a look how it is without it. We're going to be downloading it with Composer, installing and configuring an example pattern. So here we have a Drupal instance and if we go to content and create a new article, let's say example article without auto path and basically there is no auto path but if you would like you could create the path here which is not automatic for sure so let's go ahead and save it without creating the path and we see that the path looks like node and the node id let's go ahead and create a article article with our or custom path so we say here our custom path article so we just save it and we see here our custom path article is appearing but what we actually want to do is as we are creating the article and as we type the title so that the URL is actually a preprocessed function of the article. For example, instead of spaces, dashes and just the name of the article. And we could achieve that with the help of the path auto module. Here is the path auto module. It is on Drupal.org and it's a contributed module with a stable release for Drupal 8, as we see here. So let's go ahead and copy this bit and let's download it with the help of Composer. So we go here and if we just say Composer require Drupal slash and path auto. Oh, that's perfect. So as we see here, it also downloaded some dependencies, C tools and the token module. And it obviously downloaded the 8.1.3. Let's go ahead and have a quick look. If the latest version is 8.1.3, exactly. So this means that as we now go to extend and as we search for have auto we are going to be able to install it that's perfect okay so we have the path auto module and the token and the chaos tools modules installed so what we want to do now is we want to create patterns for our urls so we go to configuration and then url aliases and if we go under patterns we see that we don't have any patterns yet so let's go ahead and create a new pattern we say we want it for content which essentially means nodes and we say that we want the pattern to be active for the article and for the basic page we're going to call it just general pattern and we're going to say that we want our URL to be always slash and let's go ahead and check the viable tokens there should be something under nodes and under title yes so we would want the pattern to be always slash node title so it's very handy because here if you have for example an overview page for the articles which is slash article, for example, you could 
first say article and then the name of the article in the URL, which is a great idea. You have an overview page for the article, but in my case, I don't have, so I'll just save it. That's perfect. So if I go again under content and create a new content and say article, and if I say our new article with AutoPath, I hope it would be with AutoPath. Let's go ahead and check here under URL path settings. We see that it's checked by default and we're not able to change it. That's because the path auto module will take care of that. So if we now say save and we see that our URL is magically created from the title of our note. That's perfect and exactly what we wanted. So if you like this video, please check the links in the description, subscribe, comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.